In Bridport in Dorset, they're very proud of their history. The Arts Centre was built in 1838 and the City Museum dates back to the 17th century. But I'm here to visit a much older establishment. In fact, it's the oldest family business in the country. Bolson's the Butchers was established in 1535. That's Bolson and Son, and Son, and Son, and Son, and Son, and Son. This is their new shop. They've only been in this one since 1880. Hello. Good morning. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to meet you, John. John Bolson, he started the business underneath the town hall and we have the original indenture which states that. Well, that was nearly 500 years ago. I know, it's incredible. And Henry VIII was on the throne just a year before Anne Berlin was beheaded. Since then, we've survived floods and fires and wars, but we're still here making a living. So it's a 19th century shop. What would it have looked like when it opened? Obviously, we didn't have glass in the window then. It was an open-fronted shop where uh, the meat was put on the marble slab and you'd have goods hung up outside. And in them days, there was no refrigeration, of course. They used to import big blocks of ice from the frozen lakes of Scandinavia. And they'd drag a big lump of ice down into a room at the back of the shop. And, and the ice was put in there to keep the, the produce cold. But it didn't have to keep quite so long in them days because people bought bigger joints of meat, which would last them the whole week. What do you think about this uh, latest crisis over horse meat? If anything, it's good for the family butcher because it make people think about where, their, where the meat has come from and what's actually in these, these ready convenience meals. Today, Bridport is a popular market town. But what was it like when Bolson's first started 500 years ago? Bridport at that time was a very thriving town. Its main trade was rope and nets, and yeah. they were making all the, all the rope for the Royal Navy. So it was prosperous. Very prosperous, yeah. yes. And so where were the butchers established? Well, the butchers were established in shambles, which were lining this side of the road here. Why were they called shambles? Shambles because it's an old English word which relates to a low wooden bench on which the meat would have been butchered. In the 1780s, they decided to build this current town hall to take the shambles off, off the streets and put spaces for 37 butchers. 37? 37 butchers on the ground floor of the town hall. Why was this family so successful? The Bolsons also were involved with the pub trade. Uh, you usually find the women looked after the pub and the men had another business to run. Right, so they were just businessmen. They, they were very successful yes, yeah. businessmen. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. Nowadays, Richard Bolson runs the business with his sister's husband, Rudy. Richard's father was Eric John Bolson. His father was Richard John. In fact, John was a popular name in the family. I could fit in quite easily. OK, John, this is a nice traditional old-fashioned meal, the oxtail. And you're going to be a young Bolson. Oh, right. And you're going to joint this up. This is one of the first jobs I would have done when I came into the trade. And is it difficult? No, it's not difficult, John. Not for a man of your ability. See the gap there, just find it and slice it down through like that, John. That's not working though, is it? No, you're not in the right place there, John. All right, no, it's still still not working. No, oh, you're going to have to come to evening classes, I think. <laughs> there we oh, go. Oh, that's it. There's hope right. for you, yeah. It is a hard life, isn't it? It is a hard business. It's, it means early starts, 53 hours a week, very little holidays. Uh, working in extreme temperatures at times. I mean, sometimes it's sort of five degrees, 10 degrees in this shop. Bolsons have survived nearly 500 years of history. The Spanish Armada sailed past, the Civil War happened, the plague, the Industrial Revolution, and two world wars. Can they continue to keep it in the family? Well, the future is very bright. I mean, we've been going 478 years, another 22 to make the 500. Uh, I have a son and he has a son uh, and it says he was born with a, a sausage in his hand so they're all ready to take up the helm. It's in your blood I guess. Oh let me 